Hi, I'm Dr. Evan Matthews. I'm here at Montclair State University in the Exercise Science Lab to talk to you about using the Borg Ratings of Perceived Exertion Scale. So this is a short name for this, is the RPE scale, and we're talking about the 6 to 20 scale that you'll oftentimes see in exercise science type settings. All right, so this scale is uh, very useful for assessing how hard the exercise bout feels for the participant. Um, and so essentially what it is, is if you take a zero and add it to the end of each number, so if you have six, you have 60, you have two, uh, 20, you then have 200. It, so the scale is supposed to line up with the typical heart rate response for at least a young, healthy individual. All right. So it doesn't really do that um, all that well, but it is still a useful scale in order to uh, assess exercise intensity in a situation where you don't have a better measurement. All right. So um, what you do is you uh, train the person that you're going to be using the scale with on how they should be using the scale. All right. So oftentimes what you'll see is people who's telling you uh, they're working at a six, seven, eight, or nine, somewhere in that low end of the range, the entire exercise bout, no matter how difficult you make it. All right. So if you're doing something where it's a great exercise bout where it gets harder and harder and all the way until maximal exercise intensity, you obviously don't want them to constantly be telling you they're working at the low end of the range and then at the very end say, oh, okay, I'm on 19 or 20 now. All right, so they're missing the entire middle of the range. All right, so that's something that you want to avoid by uh, training them how to use the scale. So usually what I tell them is when you're at rest and you're doing absolutely nothing, you're around a six or a seven. If you are doing something, you have to be above a six or a seven. So if, if you're just standing there, you're an eight. If you're walking slowly, maybe you're a nine. And so you need to explain to them that progression. Um, and then also these scales usually have some words on there to help guide them. So it will say uh, somewhat hard, very hard, something like that. All right, so when they are using the scale, make sure that they're aware that it's not a single part of their body that they should be concerned with as far as their perceived exertion. All right, so it is supposed to be a total body-wide perceived exertion. So for instance, if they are doing a cycling exercise, that is typically very hard on the quadriceps in the leg. Um, so make sure that they're not just telling you how the quadriceps in their leg feels because that's going to typically be a higher number than their sort of total body feelings of exertion. So they should be thinking about things like their breathing, um, how uh, fast it feels like their heart rate's going if they, they have that sense of sort of a rapid, fast uh, heart rate that often comes with intense exercise. Um, if they are uh, feeling uh, short of breath, uh, so if they have uh, sort of just fatigue in their, uh, their other periphery parts of their body, so again, if they're doing cycling, if they're, they're feeling like their upper body is starting to feel tired as well, they're maybe having a little bit of difficulty holding themselves in an upright position with their sort of spinal muscles becoming uh, somewhat fatigued. So it's everything. It's not just one body part at the point. So make sure that they are aware of that so that you can get the most accurate measurements possible. All right, so this scale is very useful whenever you're working in a situation where you essentially train the person how to use the scale with you, uh, and then they go off on their own and you tell them, okay, I want you to work at a 13 on the RPE scale by yourself. Okay, so then they don't have to know how to uh, measure their heart rate, they don't have to have a heart rate strap, they just need to be able to feel how hard they're working and know how hard that, that level of intensity is just based on their, their feelings of exertion. All right, so it's much easier for them to use. However, it does take some training. All right, so usually um, what, you may, well, what you may want to do um, if they are new to this and they're struggling a little bit is take their heart rate at different intensities of exercise and say it was uh, an 11, then tell, oh sorry, say it was, it was uh, 110. So tell them they should be feeling like about an 11 on the RPE scale then. All right, so that's at least for a young person who has a max heart rate probably around 200. All right, so you can do this at different intensities of exercise and then tell them what the RPE value is at that intensity. And then later on, they can then uh, try to replicate that by remembering how they felt at that intensity and then associating that with a, a certain number on the scale. All right, so that was a real quick overview on how to do RPE. So this is specifically, again, the Borg Ratings of Perceived Exertion Scale that is 6 to 20. All right, so very useful, um, very easy to use once you've been trained on how to use it. Uh, so if you have any questions, please put those in the comments below. Otherwise, please come back and watch another video. Thanks.